then I put on his seat and we go for a walk. A year ago, nine-year-old Kenneth Kelly couldn't read. Prior to the age of seven, Kenneth couldn't even talk. He was diagnosed with autism at an early age. Now his parents say he reads all the time. It's amazing. He was nowhere near that even in um, December. He just started a little bit, but basically about a month ago, he picked up the books and just started reading. Kenneth's road to recovery began three years ago when his parents started him on hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Last August, they traveled to Costa Rica where Kenneth received stem cells from umbilical cord blood. It wasn't long after the procedure that Kelly's noticed a difference in Kenneth. Immediately. Yeah, we noticed that within that two day, three day time frame. His parents say his sentence structure has improved and he's more aware of his surroundings. He even remembers birthdays, days of the week, and he can tell time. We've just been waiting for the new things and the games to stop coming and they're not stopping, they're coming every day. Kenneth was the first child in Maine and one of less than 100 nationwide to receive the umbilical cord blood as a treatment for autism. But that didn't scare the Kellys. We were excited and we were excited for his future and we were scared of a life for him without stem cells and what the future would hold with just autism with no hope. The family is heading to Central America for another round of the same treatment. They're hoping the improvements they've seen are just the beginning. It looks like the sky's the limit, especially with reading. I never thought I'd see it happen. He's also doing simple math problems and um, his teachers that hadn't seen him for a year said that he had improved tremendously. Rob Poindexter, WABI-TV5 News, Glenburn.